I'm Susan Curtin, and I'm a Let's Look at Art docent at the San Jose Museum of Art in San Jose, California. Today, we are going to talk about how artists use texture in their work, and then look at some examples from our fifth grade portfolio, which we use when we visit schools in Santa Clara County. Fifth graders here study U.S. history, and all of the art today is related to the United States. Either the subject matter or the artist is from the U.S. Today, when we are talking about texture, we mean how does an artist show what an object in their art would feel like if we could touch it? And how do those choices affect how the artwork makes us feel? I've gathered some items from around my home to show different types of texture. If you would like to do the same thing, feel free to pause the video and return when you are ready. Okay, some of the, here are some of the objects I have found. Let's think of some words to describe the texture of each one. This sheepskin, furry, fluffy, soft. This towel, also soft, but the pattern of the threads is slightly bumpy at the same time. This mug is very smooth. This piece of wood is smooth, as well as the edges are very rough. Okay, before we look at some art, I would like to show you this photo of the San Jose Museum of Art. As you can see, the building is in two pieces, an older castle-like section on the left and the newer, more modern section on the right. The older portion was built in 1892 and was the original post office in San Jose later became the library and is now the San Jose Museum of Art. The newer section was added in 1992 and contains the galleries where you will find art. As we look at this picture, you can see lots, lots of different kinds of texture. Uh, even though the entire building is made out of stone, the stones are very different. You can see how the older portion is rough and the newer portion is smooth. What other textures do you see in this photograph? I see some fluffy clouds and some spiky palms. Okay, let's look at some American art and see if we can, what different types of textures we can find. As we're going along, feel free to pause the video so that you can take a longer look at each piece. What type of texture do you see in this petroglyph? Next, we have a painting. What type of textures do you see here? I see the smooth fabric of the soldiers' uniforms and the rough ice in the river. What type of textures do you see in this photograph? I see the scratchy straw of the broom, the rough uh, mop, the fabric of the flag behind her. last one is a photograph of a sculpture. It's difficult to get the whole thing in the viewer here. Here we go. 
what kind of textures do you see? Thank you for your time today. I've enjoyed looking at art with you.